dear student this is the second topic in this case deviation is there deviation is there but no dispersion without dispersion it means theta should be zero theta plus theta dash should be zero no dispersion without dispersion so what is there again condition condition are again same see there are again two prism of different material of different angle that is a and a dash crown glass and flint glass or different refractive index so what will happen due to the first light dispersion will takes place but due to second prism the all ray will get combined and the emergent ray will be white so due to this you are observing there is a deviation this was the incident ray and this is the emergent ray so there is a deviation but no dispersion see the white light is not being divided into seven colors there is no dispersion so this is the condition for no dispersion but deviation is there so first of all i will go for the no dispersion without dispersion it means theta a to mu minus r and theta dash this is the value of theta dash that is an angular dispersion by the second prism and this is angular dispersion by the first prism because without dispersion so there sum should be how much zero so this is theta plus theta dash should be how much zero substituting their value here a dash upon a will become how much minus mu v minus mu r upon mu v dash minus mu r so this is the value of it no dispersion this is the condition for no dispersion so negative sign is again indicating what inverse ratio that is opposite ratio understood the prism should be placed opposite to each other for this condition now the second condition this is called achromatism because no dispersion the white light is having same condition as the white light is getting incident the white light will be the emergent light so that's why we say this is the condition for achromatism no dispersion is called achromatism condition it means no color so what will be the deviation here so deviation to do the first prism plus deviation to do the second prism understood so their deviation to do first prism and second prism so i will add them together this is the crown glass and this is the flint glass so adding these two together their sum is how much zero and but we know a into this is equal to delta and this should be how much delta dash so this is delta and this is delta dash so mu v minus mu r upon this this is called what omega this is called dispersive power of the first and this is called dispersive power of the second so dispersive power of the second so what can i write delta into omega plus delta dash into omega dash that should be how much zero or omega upon omega dash is equal to minus of omega dash upon sorry delta dash upon delta so again the negative sign is indicating the glass prism should be kept anti parallel to each other or opposite to each other so he saying hence no dispersion there will be no dispersion the material and the angle of two prism should be chosen that their dispersive power are in inverse ratio the dispersive power are in inverse ratio of their deviation suffered by the mean light deviation suffered by the mean light due to second glass and this is first glass this is dispersive power so what will be the net deviation this is deviation due to first and this is deviation due to second glass so what will be the net deviation so i can find out there delta plus delta dash so delta plus delta dash adding these two together delta plus delta dash this is delta and this is delta dash so taking common a into mu minus 1 so that will become 1 a dash upon a that is mu dash minus a dash upon a you know what is this condition for that is mu v minus mu r upon mu v dash minus mu r dash this is the value of a dash upon a so substituting their value here so it will become see what is this omega and what is this omega dash this is omega dash and this is omega so that's why it has become omega upon omega dash this is 1 minus omega upon what is a into mu minus 1 this is called delta deviation for the mean light delta 1 minus omega upon omega dash so this is about the net deviation for this condition understood so these two formula are important here this is the second formula and first formula for no dispersion second for sorry first for no dispersion so this is the condition for no dispersion so that's all for these two conditions so you have to go through the derivation properly 
डिस्पर्सन एंड डेविएशन इफ नो डिस्पर्सन बट देर इज डेविएशन इफ देर इज नो डेविएशन बट डिस्पर्सन सो दीज आर द टू कंडीशन सो वट आर द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ दीज टू कंडीशन यू हैव टू गो थ्रू द डेरीवेशन प्रॉपरली एंड देन यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर द नोट्स थैंक यू एंड हैव अ ग्रेट डे